It was recently at a restaurant, a friend works there called Northern Spy. We went and we were, he just ordered, he's like, yeah, I'm just gonna get whatever I want. And he ordered this thing that I couldn't even really comprehend. When I came home, I was like, I have to make it. They were literally sticky pork bun cinnabons, if that even makes sense. So I went home and I was like, all right, I gotta make this for my friend. It doesn't make Mike sense until try. you try it. I yeah. can tell you that much. The first thing I did, roasted a pork shoulder. You can do a pork butt or pork shoulder, just cover it in some oil and use whatever kind of seasoning you want. We use the little Brothers Green uh, Rub One Out seasoning. This is good, it's got like smoky chipotle and paprika and cayenne, salt and everything. You just rub it out. Rub it, rub just, just rub it on, just give it a good rubbing. <laughs> and then what you do is you put it in a oven at like 450 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour until it gets like charred. Instead of having to sear it, you just try the crap out of it. Then you turn the heat down like 200, 215 and just let it sit as long as you can until it just starts pulling apart. Once it pulls apart, usually I just leave it at that, but my friend John was like, no, you gotta cut it all up. This is what they do the real barbecue. They cut it all up into pieces. They mix all the pork together. That way you get all the kibbles and bits. You get fatty parts, you get the bark parts, you get the meaty parts all together in every single bite. And if it doesn't pull apart, just keep cooking it low and slow. That's the yeah. biggest mistake. You go into it and you try to cut it apart. No. If you cook it long enough, that thing will fall off the bone, it's I just, swear. It's gonna be boning itself. Just stick it in, <laughs> it will just like peel it's off. It'll be banging itself. And if it doesn't fall off, you can still cut it up. It's just more of a pain. So I know this is not a standard Brothers Green recipe. This takes a little bit longer. So you can kind of, you can buy pork if you want to speed it up. You can even buy, you know, the dough already. But I wanted to do the full treat. So this is here for you, full treat. First thing you do, cup or so water with a packet of yeast, honey, let it sit. It's gotta be warm water so the yeast gets all bubbly and, and activated. the honey in there, the sugars in the honey are gonna activate the yeast. Very important step. Activation. And they're gonna sweeten the dough, which is perfect because we're making a little sweet treat. One. Ah. One egg goes in there. You can just beat, you wanna beat that up for me, Mike? Yeah. Give it a beat ski. So I've got, I don't know, three or so cups of flour in here. It doesn't really matter how much flour you have, as long as you're okay with adding more, taking some away, but usually like one cup of water to three cups of flour is kind of the, you know, the standardized thing. This is where you're taking it from straight up pizza dough or bread and you're turning it more into like a pastry dough. Mix that With in. Butter and egg. Salt. Whoa, Jesus, Lord, oh Christ almighty. Lord, oh Lord. I'm gonna add some maple syrup. You could add sugar, but maple syrup is extra. So you're kind of just trying to bring everything together, these flavors. We're making a pastry dough with some sweetness. It's gonna work with the pork. So you mix all this around, and it's not like pizza dough where you have to knead it. You just have to get it together. And if you see right here, it's like, you know, and it's, it's kind of, whoa, oh. whoa, we've got flying dough. So if your dough looks a little bit wet, all you do, do not be afraid, you just add more flour. And just keep adding little bits of flour until it's like the perfect balance between wet and not wet. Now put it onto your table, and you can add, you know, a little flour to help it not stick and just start to get it together. All you're trying to do with this dough, not necessarily give it a full knead and make it all tough, but just get it together. Just get yourself together. You know, it will take a few hours once you get the pork done, and you know, you don't even have to add pork, you could add ham, you could add, just make this sweet. But this is something that most people have probably never tried in their entire lives. I have never tried it, and I've eaten a lot of food until last week, and now I'm like making it Constantly. As long as the dough is yours and you love it and you tend to it, you need this dough. Now don't need it too much, but I need you. Do you know that I need you? All right, take a little bit of oil, pop it into your bowl, and just cover this whole thing in the oil. Boom, boom, it boom, boom, boom. From the and then like the outside world, the crusty world. The papier towels, please. The papier. The papier. Just cover the paper towels, whatever kind of towels. Uh, to be honest, plastic wrap is way better, but you know. Two papier matter. towels. Two papier, sir. All right, you just cover it, let this sit for like, you know, an hour till it gets all nice and boobale, nice and big, and then we'll show you the next step while we wait. This has been resting for an hour or two. The longer the better, but just an hour is perfectly good. Now what you do, take a little bit of flour, put a little bit of flour on there, a little bit more. Now you just get creative. And what you do, you don't even need a roller. This stuff, the, the dough is so soft, you don't even need a roller. You just press it out 
And you just want to make it nice and thin because we're going to put the glorious pork in there. I'm taking the pork sauna right now. There's nothing better in life. Look at this dough, are you kidding me? Jesus. You can just make a sweet pizza, sweet Jesus pizza out of this thing. I need the pork in just a moment. Un momento, un momento. A little more flour around the edges. Okay, now what we're gonna do is just go ahead and treat ourselves to a nice row of glorious. Are we spreading it on the whole thing? No, I think we're gonna do like a, kind of like this area, we'll try that. Put your pork in your pastry. It's a good amount of that. I made sure to cut it up nice and thin. Spread your pork out onto the old pastry You don't guy. want it going throughout? I don't think so, that's, that's a good amount of pork. Now, Mr. Mike, we would use brown sugar normally. I don't think I have, do I have brown sugar? Sugar, honey, honey. No brown sugar. All right, so I'm just gonna use a little more maple syrup. Whoa. Why the hell not? Okay, and now, you just take it, and you give it a roll. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, folks? Sweet Mary. Sweet mother of Mary and Joseph. And John and Ringo and Paul. Should I spray this Pyrex? Now what you do is you either spray it, or if you don't have spray, you can just, you can, whoa. We got this demons. spray, we got this spray. You spray the Pyrex, you can also just take a little oil and then take some paper towel and give it a zippity. So what we do, I'm just gonna cut chunks, you know, you can experiment with your own sizes, but wow. I'm just gonna put them in. That's a pork roll. Pork roll. A pork roll. A pork roll. That is a meaty, are you kidding me? Meat. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. I it's know. called a meat demon. Pop these guys in uh, here. Uh, Last time, uh, I get it, Mongolian uh, barbecue. <laughs> Last time I uh, made these, the pork was actually cold when I put it in. This time I'm trying it warm just to see. I don't think it'll be a huge difference, but I'm gonna see what will happen. It makes it a little bit easier to like, just see the gloriousness. Okay, now you have that. Cover this thing, let it sit for 30 minutes to an hour, or just go, if you bake it right now, yeah. it's gonna be great. You're better off covering it. It's gonna all expand to each other. Either way, 350 degrees, I don't know, 45 what about the minutes potatoes? or so. While this is chilling, we're gonna show you a little treat with the potato. What you are about to see is going to be a little freakishly weird. So when I had it at Northern Spy, they had some sort of parsnip puree, it had mustard in it, it was really good, it was spicy, and it kind of looked just like icing. I made these incredible potatoes. You can use any mashed potatoes, but I made these incredible potatoes as a video of it. I thought, why not do a what little are you doing? potato icing? A little bit. This guy's gone off the deep end. Just to no, see. He's been off the deep end. Just to see what would happen. Mashed potato icing. You're seeing it here for the first time on Brothers Green. You may never see it again, but what the hell? Potato icing. Mashed potato icing on top of those pork buns. Wow. Right. Now that we've got our icing on the, these guys. The good Lord, he came down and he blessed these things what? with potato icing. The good Lord himself, <laughs> Mr. Master, P. Diddy. Thank you, P. Diddy. <laughs> All you do, cover these again, let them sit for 45 minutes, an hour, as long as you can handle them, or just pop them in the oven. Either way, put them in the oven, 350 degrees, until they look delicious. I Five am 45 freaking minutes. out right now. Sticky, steamed, Pork Cinnabons are done. Now, I made this awesome barbecue sauce. This is a maple bourbon smoky barbecue, but any good barbecue sauce will work. It is essential. You just give it a zoopity doopity dippity dop right on top. The idea oh, good, of good. eating something that's never been tasted before by Ever. any other human is freaking me out right, right now. Get it out, get it out. Oh my God. God, what? Now, just for fun, done? we had some dough left over, so Mike and I actually made steamed pork buns with these things, and they too were incredible. Oh my God. Corner piece. Let me see. Slice one up. Oh my God. And slice one in half. Hmm. Wow. Oh. Potato icing, that's gotta be, that's gotta be a new trend immediately. It's really pushing the boundaries to amazing pork levels. 
Definitely finger licking. I'm drunk off pork. I know here. Put in extra effort. Make them for your friends. They will be bowing down to you, doing all kinds of things you always wish they would do to you.